The last thing you want is to damage or ruin your screens when you're just trying to get them clean. So let me show you a few do's along with some don'ts and a safe and effective way to always get them clean. To start, make sure to power down and unplug all devices before you do any cleaning. This not only saves you from a potential electrical issue, but it also helps you to see the dirt more clearly. Now let's say your device is just a little dusty. All you need is a dry microfiber towel. Just wipe it side to side. This will remove all the dust, leaving it nice and clean. It's best to never use paper products when it comes to cleaning screens. Things like tissue paper, napkins, toilet paper, or even paper towel will always leave a residue that could possibly scratch the screen. Plus, they're usually pretty aggressive. But what if your screen is still dirty after using the dry microfiber cloth? Well, this is pretty common because most likely you have some spots on there and even some smudges too, and you need something a little stronger than just a microfiber towel to get it clean. Your first temptation might be to run underneath your sink or your cleaning closet and grab glass cleaner. I know at first I thought that as well, and when I was like seven or eight years old cleaning, I did that and unfortunately ruined an old TV. What happens is, is this product has harsh chemicals when it's related to delicate electronics that can slowly damage them over time. And many TVs and TV screens and even our phones now have special coatings like anti-glare and things that will be eroded over time with repeated use of glass cleaner. Instead of using cleaners, just use water. Now, preferably distilled water if possible because that doesn't carry any minerals or unseen particles that could possibly scratch the screen. Now, you know your water, whether it's hard or soft in your home, so I'll let you be the judge of that. But if you can, distilled water is best. Now, one thing to look out for is to never over wet or directly spray the screen. Depending on what type of TV you had, that moisture could seep into the internal components and potentially cause damage or short out your screen. Instead, I like to just use a damp towel with that water, wring it out really well, make sure it's not dripping any moisture, and then start cleaning. I like to start on one end and work my way across the TV, cleaning straight up and straight down. Now, if you do run across an area that needs a little bit more help, just gently scrub in a circular motion and that should take care of it. Just be mindful to never use too much pressure because we don't wanna push on the screen. We just wanna lightly rub up and down to remove whatever's sitting on the surface. Now, once the screen is nice and clean, I always come through with a dry microfiber towel. This actually kind of does two things. It dries the surface, making sure that there's no moisture lingering there that could potentially cause damage, but it also removes any sort of streaks that might be left behind from the damp towel. But what if your screen is still dirty and you see some of those spots and smudges? Well, what I like to do is come through with a few drops of dish soap, preferably Dawn, in some distilled water in a spray bottle spray your microfiber towel and gently spot clean those areas. Do you need electronic cleaning sprays or specialty sprays to clean your screens? If you want to, you can use them, but I've found that they're pretty expensive and honestly, just a little dish soap will do the same thing. But what if you need to disinfect your screen? Maybe someone's sick in the house or you just sneezed all over your laptop. I've done it, guilty, super gross, I know. Now what I suggest is to do a quick Google search and check with the manufacturer on exactly what products they recommend. I actually compiled a little short list down in the description below for most products that I could find. For instance, Apple has one. It tells you exactly what products to use and how to use that. The reason I like to suggest this is they know their products. They know the adhesives, the coatings, and everything in between that goes into their screens. So check with them and then use those products. That way you ensure you're not going to cause damage. Now you know how to clean all your screens. Check out a few of my other videos so I can help you clean that up.